This video was shot in the State Public Health Laboratory on a beautiful autumn day. Mr. Postfield, Steve, is getting ready to head into the lab to analyze specimens for foodborne disease causing bacteria. He first washes his hands, then he puts on a lab coat and latex gloves because Mr. Postfield knows that a lab coat and latex gloves should always be worn in the laboratory. Hello, my name is Mr. Postfield. I am a scientist at the State Public Health Laboratory. Today, I'm going to show you how we perform post-field gel electrophoresis, known as PFGE. Scientists use PFGE to quickly identify bad bacteria in food so we can stop it from making people sick. Come on, let's go into the lab. This is the laboratory Mr. Postfield performs PFGE. The first step in PFGE is to obtain pure DNA from your sample. Rita is going to demonstrate how this is done. First, you have to obtain a sample of the bad bacteria. Today, we'll be studying salmonella. This is called a culture. After you have obtained a culture of the bacteria, then you prep the DNA so that it can be purified. Rita is making air ghost plugs for the bacteria. These plugs cut the bacteria so that all that left is the DNA. After Rita has obtained pure DNA, she will cut the DNA into smaller pieces. These small pieces of DNA are called fragments. After an error gross gel is made, Mr. Postfield can put the DNA fragments into the PFGE instrument. This instrument at use at the state laboratory is called the Chef DR3. The instrument contains a chamber that conducts electricity. Electricity forces DNA to move down the gel so that the fragments will separate by size. The smaller fragments will move further down the gel than the larger fragments. This movement generates a picture called a pattern. You can all the patterns. There are 31 patterns in this window, and a software has compared each of those uh, 31 patterns to each other and displayed them in a dendrogram showing uh, matching and similarity. So at the top of the window, there are two patterns that are identical, uh, different from the next two patterns. There are other matches in here, a pair of matches here. Here's a group of patterns here that match. And um, the purpose of this is to identify patients who may be related to a common source, which typically in our, uh, in our work is a food source. And so under certain circumstances, patients who have PFG patterns that are identical, like in the, in the case of these first two uh, patterns, those two people may be likely be uh, related to the same source. Same way with this group of patterns here, there are four patients. These are salmonella isolates from four different patients. They have the same PFG patterns, and that's a good indication that those four people are linked to the same foods.